Oh, hello, friends! It's nighttime here, and it's also the holidays. So, it is the perfect time to learn about bioluminescence. Follow me. But first, let me put on my crown. It's much better. Wait, this is not it. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready now. <laughs> my name is Mermaid L, and I earned my crown from doing a great job at saving the seas. That's a mermaid's number one job. Oh, hi, Jesse. How are you? I haven't seen you since Halloween. Well, of course you can join us today. <laughs> today we will be diving deep into bioluminescence. Let's dive in! Just like you humans love beautiful light displays during the holidays, we love light displays down here as well. Some of us sea creatures can produce our own light, like plankton or comb jellies. And this is called bioluminescence. Did you know I'm also bioluminescent? My lights help me see in the dark, communicate with marine life, and avoid dangers. Let's go a little deeper, shall we? Like we talked about on our Spooky Seas episode, creatures like jellyfish, shrimp, squid, plankton, and even some fish have the ability to produce light. Some creatures do this specifically to attract prey or evade predators, and some do it as a way of communication. But how does it happen exactly? Take a jellyfish, for example, like Jesse here. About half of all jellyfish are bioluminescent. The light comes from an energy release, from a chemical reaction that happens within each cell of a living organism that has evolved to have bioluminescent powers. Now, let's look at plankton. Plankton is a tiny microscopic organism and has been around for about 400 million years. They are made up of only one cell, and their ability to light up happens in that one cell. That chemical reaction releases energy, which we can see as visible light. This natural wonder is commonly seen by humans on the ocean surfaces all over the world. However, there are specific places where humans like to enjoy this spectacle of lights. Here are the most common places to enjoy bioluminescence around the world. Make sure you ask the locals when is the best time to see it from the surface before you go. It is important to protect our oceans so we can continue to enjoy the amazing wonders it provides. Oh, right. Are you guys ready? It's time for the show. Let's enjoy this beautiful light display brought to you by some of my brightest sea friends. a spectacle! Bravo! I hope you enjoy the beauty of bioluminescence and understand it a bit more. In order to enjoy the magic of nature, we have to protect it. Remember, don't trash where we splash. Reduce your carbon footprint, choose eco-friendly and sustainable products, and participate in beach cleanups. You can also support nonprofit ocean conservation organizations that are making waves saving the seas. Oh, the ocean is calling, I gotta go. Thank you so much for joining us today and happy holidays. Mermaid kisses, starfish wishes. Thank you for watching. Join me on my Saving the Seas mission by making better choices on your daily life. Learn more about our oceans and planet on my next episodes. Shop the Mermaid Owl Saving the Seas merch at themermaidowl.com. A percentage of the profits donates to ocean conservation. 
This video is sponsored by CapeCali.com. Eco-friendly mermaid tails and dive wear for everyone. Want to invite Mermaid L to your next event? You can book a live performance at TheMermaidL.com. Follow my journey on social media at TheMermaidL and at Saving the Seas Project. See you soon!